Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be learning all about North American Pokey Pie! North American Pokey Pie! Yeah, yeah, North American Pokey Pie! If you want to learn about wildlife and animals with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell so you get notified when we upload our latest videos. The North American porcupine is a slow-moving rodent native to North America. It is one of 58 species of rodents. The North American porcupine inhabits throughout most of Canada and Alaska, the northern part of the Great Lakes region, western and northeastern regions of the United States and northern Mexico. They live in a variety of habitats, such as dense forests, grasslands, tundra, and even desert shrubs. They are short-legged and stout, they have black to brownish yellow fur and razor sharp quills all over their round body and tail, except for the stomach. The quills are one to four inches long, hollow, and end with a solid, super sharp barbed tip. The tip is covered with microscopic backward facing barbs, making it nearly impossible to take out without making more damage. They are made of keratin, like human hair and nails. The quills sport white highlights. And just like hair, old ones fall out and new ones grow in. The quills are distributed throughout their body and hidden among long, soft guard hairs. Sometimes it is hard to see the prickly quills until the animal feels threatened. They keep their quills flat against their bodies most of the time. When threatened, they contract the muscles at the base of each spine and that makes the quills stand upright. They are the second largest rodents in North America. The biggest one is the beaver. They are about two to three feet long, plus a 10 inch tail and weigh about 20 pounds. The North American porcupine has 3,000 quills for self-defense. North American porcupines do not shoot their quills at their predators. They are not aggressive animals and will only attack if threatened. They usually slap their tails and stomp their feet as a warning sign first. Also, the quills release a musky smell to warn any predators to stay away. The quills are lightly attached to their bodies and come off easily when they come in contact with things or predators. When the quills enter the skin of a predator, they work their way farther into the skin at a rate of one millimeter an hour. Because the tips are barbed, the muscle movement of the victim draws the quill deeper in. This can be deadly for the injured victim. The North American porcupine is a very good swimmer, loves swimming, and its, and its hollow ooh, quills helps it flow. Porcupines have four bright orange incisors, two larger ones above and two smaller ones below. They use these for gnawing off bites of food. The incisors continue to grow throughout their life. The constant gnawing keeps them at a perfect size. Porcupines live mostly on the ground, but do climb up trees in search of food and sometimes to build nests. They make dens in caves, decaying logs, and hollow trees. They are mostly solitary, but will share dens in the winter. They are herbivores and eat berries, seeds, grasses, leaves, roots and stems, twigs, evergreen needles, tree bark, and acorns. In the winter, they mostly eat tree bark, and occasionally they supplement their diet by gnawing on bones and, and antlers that are rich in mineral nutrition. Porcupines' mating season occurs in late summer and early fall. They have an elaborate mating ritual, which includes extensive vocalizations and males performing dances to attract females. The females give birth to a single baby after a seven-month gestation period. Baby porcupines are called porcupets and are born with soft quills. They begin to harden within an hour after birth. The baby porcupines stay with the mother for a few months. The North American porcupine has a long life expectancy compared to most rodents, whose life expectancy is five to seven years. The average lifespan in the wild is 18 years, but one individual reached 27 years. Only the naked mole rat, which is also a rodent, beat that record with one who lived to 28. 
The North American porcupine is currently listed in the IUCN Red List as a least concern with a stable population. Despite this classification, porcupines are often hunted and trapped as pests since they tend to cause damage to trees, crops, car tires, and other property. The Mexican population is on the verge of extinction. In addition, they suffer from collisions with vehicles. We hope you enjoyed learning with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next week with a video on... Hedgehogs!